Alright guys, it's me, Van Dykes, again here with another commentary video for the Sean Hannity Show. Just gotta turn the car on. Okay, gotta do that. We stand Lake Pass Central Florida And of course, it's gonna be on Camaro Show. It'll be back. He always Dunkin comes Donuts. back. Fall in love with so, all flavors of Dunkin' Donuts. Let's get going, folks. Any sized iced coffees from 2 to 6 p.m. Try any of their delicious flavors like maple pecan or pumpkin. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may you vary. Know, Limited I've time heard offer. that they're going to change with the name of Dunkin' Donuts. With traffic alerts every six minutes in the morning, we're Dunkin'. helping you get to work on time. I'm not sure when I'm they're going to do that, I'm Jackie O'Brien, who's 96.5 WDBO. It's not really a big issue, When you're on your way to work and you got to get there on time, the we will be there for you. I'm Joe Kelly. Host of Orlando's Morning News, Jackie and Ed are on the ground, and Eric is in our helicopter flying high over Orlando to give you triple team traffic every six minutes in the morning. This is where Orlando turns first for traffic alerts. News 96.5 WDBO. Now, Sean Hannity on News 96.5 WDBO. Let's go! Sean's got more behind the scenes information, more yeah. contacts than anybody, more friends behind the curtain. Sean I'm not Hannity stop is on. Until I get home. All right, 25 now till the top of the hour. Glad you are with us. You know, it's pretty amazing what is happening as it relates to the deep state. Nobody wants to show up now. Rod Rosenstein doesn't want to show up. Mm. Glenn Simpson's pleading the fifth. <laughs> we got Nelly Orr doesn't want to show Who's up. Not we got the, the DOJ literally obstructing congressional subpoenas every day, just hoping and praying and never. praying and hoping and on their knees that the Democrats win. So then all these investigations into their corruption ends, and they won't ever ever have to be exposed for what I've they did in terms of the deep state in and the corruption involved in uh, with the 2016 election right and the desire to take down a duly elected sure president. Anyway, Carter Page and that, David Schoen will join us at the top of the hour. The you know, Newt just said something that really sticks with me. Casey he just said, this election, think about Kavanaugh, think about caravans. You know, you got illegal alien families now I'm even crossing about the Hillary border Clinton in record numbers. If ever there was a deplorable. moment for strengthening the Republican majorities in Congress so we could finally fully fund the wall, look at the Washington Post today. It says record number of families now crossing U.S. border. The number of migrant parents entering the U.S. with children has now surged to record levels in the three months since President Trump ended family separations at the border. Dealing the administration a deepening you crisis know, all these three weeks are against before Trump the mid that, you know, that's It's what, not a crisis. They claim that Donald, Donald Trump, Trump is separating families with this wall and with his Yesterday immigration policies. Or in the last but two no, days, he's not separating families. That the wall he's is an extension of his manhood by Nancy Pelosi, for crying out loud. How many Democrats have been saying they want to eliminate ICE? How many Democrats support sanctuary cities? How many Democrats don't want a border wall because they want open borders because they've calculated politically it benefits them? Yeah, that's exactly. You know, forget about exactly you know, they the haven't been point. down to the border thirteen times thing. like I have. They want to make from the Rio out to be Grande like the of San Diego, the you know, helicopter, horseback, all-terrain vehicles, foot, but they're boats, not. You name it. Cars, trucks. I've been there. And I've seen from gang members arrested. Democrats I've got are. the video. I've been in drug warehouses. I've got the video. I've caught people while if I'm got at that video the border, shot, you literally you it. You beginning their cross at the Rio Grande. Make sure that it's I public. sat with Rick Perry at a meeting that Barack Obama should have been at. And what did I hear? 642,000 Texans Obama victims of crimes by at. illegal immigrants in a seven-year period. And we played that video and shown you that audio. <laughs> uh, uh, shown you that video and played that audio for you how many times? You, know, you see tunnels built from Mexico into the United States. Really? Want to know where opioids are coming from? Want to know where a lot those of the tunnels. heroin's are coming from? Want to know where tunnels? a lot of the fentanyl's coming oh, from? Surprise me one bit. We have nearly 100,000 dead people a year now because of drugs crossing our borders. And here the president saying, no, we just want borders, but... You know, we, we'll put a big door in and we'll just vet people so we know they they come with the best of intentions and love and respect our, our way of life and want to be a part of our family. 
It's unbelievable. You know, Border Patrol. Then you Donald got the sanctuary cities. And if, now we have a sanctuary state country. of California. What does that he mean? He just wants to make sure that, well, that means people and that we know are here illegal illegally don't get into that this country. broke the laws to get in here. No respect for our sovereignty. No respect for American law. Well, now we know those people when they get caught committing other crimes. Some of them. Well, we live pretty in a country serious. Of law, for Pete's sake. That's six hundred forty-two thousand crimes We're I mentioned included gay yeah, murder Republic. in some cases. That's what constitutional How many means. parents, we are angel moms, have we put on this laws program and angel dads on this and program, and they tell the stories about illegal immigrants that were in the justice system that were let out on the street because they were in a sanctuary city, now the sanctuary state of California. Oh, with a with a sanctuary state free health care for well, all legal California. or illegal is. candidate Gavin Newsom out there in the California. Industry. You know, talk Liberals about nutty California. Good that. grief! You know, we now have on record a number of migrant parents entering the U.S. with children surging to record levels. Listen, they want their kids here. In some cases, we have actually found out that people that claim that the young children with them are their children turn out not to even be their children. Oh, but they want to beat Lord. Donald Trump over the head with a hammer yeah. over this. He's the one that stopped family separation. He's the one that's yeah, been he saying did. So what you say about that? He's the one that's been saying you've got to pass laws that I can't do it by executive fiat. Happened under Obama, nobody cared. Happened under Bush, nobody cared. But of course, the standard double standard is so transparent and so obvious. Yeah. We have House Republicans now calling for an investigation. Here we are watching this, these videos of members of this illegal alien caravan actually being paid, according to Congressman Matt Gates of Florida. He wants an investigation into whether the illegal alien caravan now headed to the U.S. is being bankrolled by wealthy Democrats in America. It's hilarious to watch. You know, there was I saw a conspiracy theory tweet out there by some prominent Democrat. I don't actually remember the, the name, but it actually says, Sources say you're so scared of losing the midterms, he's tweeting at that real Donald Trump, and impeachment hearings, that you, your team, influenced the caravan. So they're blaming Trump for the caravan. If the dog bites, the beast things, you're feeling sad. Um... It's Donald Trump's fault. If he cures cancer, he wouldn't be liked by some of these people. I know, that's the whole point. Unbelievable. All right, 800-941-SHAWN is our so toll-free telephone number. You want to be a part of the program. You know, we also have Trump Pelosi, saying, Warren, the president saying, well, we evil. may have to use these the military are evil, at this no point to protect our they're borders. I don't, he, president today tweeted this morning, I must in the strongest of terms ask Me Mexico to stop this onslaught, and if unable to do so, I will call up the U.S. military and close our southern border. I'm watching the Democratic Party, led because they want open borders and existing weak laws, assault in our country by Guatemala, Honduras, El Salvador, and leaders are doing little to stop the flow of people, including many criminals, from entering the United States through Mexico. In his third tweet, he emphasized the importance that he places on stopping the migrants from ever entering the country. He said the assault on our country at our southern border, including the criminal elements and drugs pouring in, is far more important to me as president than trade or the new trade agreement that he has with Mexico and Canada. Hopefully Mexico will stop this onslaught at their northern border. He said all Democrats fault for weak laws. Amen. We've been trying to fix it now for a long time. All right, 800-941-SHAWN is our toll-free telephone number. You want to be a part of the program. Dan is in Michigan. Dan, hi, how are you? Welcome to beautiful Palm Beach. We're here, Rush Limbaugh, for the full hour on Hannity tonight. What's going on, Dan? How are you? I hey, sounds good, good. Hey, um, I got to look into I want to just like go little back little to guy. those documents that, that are now with the Inspector General, you know, the final core documents that a couple of weeks ago Trump ordered to be declassified, right? Right. Okay. And then Rosenstein came over to the White House immediately. And I didn't go over. Paraphrase. From what I understand, it was a phone call. Okay. But I want to paraphrase what Rosenstein basically... I'm going to, I'm going to truthfully point out. Rosenstein basically called him up. Look, Mr. President, 
myself and my buddies are trying to impeach you and put you in jail. If you release these documents, it's going to prevent us from impeaching your, your tail and putting you in jail, and it's probably going to explode in your face, and you are going to be a free man. So would you not release these because we still are working to subvert your presidency? And then after, Sean, after the phone call, Trump find out, found out all this stuff about Rosenstein and the mic and stuff. That was after the phone call. Why wouldn't Trump realize you're trying to impeach him, put him in jail, call the inspector general, say get that to the White House, sit around to Oval Office and say, admit these two things, release the rest. From my understanding, is they're being extra super careful that the president's still committed to declassification uh, releasing the the unredacted FISA warrants. These are the main things we need. We need the FISA warrant applications, one. We need the Gang of Eight material, two. We need what's known as the 302s or the reports Bruce Orr, especially with his contacts with Christopher Steele, because we already know, because of some of the leaks and communications, that Christopher Steele, who under oath and under threat of perjury in Great Britain in an interrogatory, even he couldn't stand by his own phony, fake Russian dossier that he was paid for. You know, you got all these people now, Nelly Orr doesn't want to talk, uh, Glenn Simpson pleading the fifth, Rod Rosenstein not only not turning over documents, he has time to talk to the Wall Street Journal, but no time to talk to uh, the members of Congress and, and hand over the documents. So I understand it's on track. It's a little more complicated than him just saying, release it, release it this second. Lawyers are on it as, as the latest that I heard, my sources. But I think and I hope that they get released before the election, because I think the American people deserve to see it. Yeah, it, it, right. well, they're so trying to put him in jail. He needs to, to help himself. Something. Listen, I, I will tell you, this you has been a soft coup attempt. You don't tell Donald Trump. There's no doubt do. about. It. We know Period. what the insurance policy is. Don't mess with We know with what Donald the leak Trump. strategy is. We know that they knew there was no Russia Trump collusion, even in the yes. words of Peter Strzok. There's no there there. Lisa Page even saying no, no there, we had what, nothing. What does that even That's mean? why they started leaking the the phony no dossier there, information to all the left wingers in the news media they never told them that it was unverified or uncorroborated like they never told the fisa courts that it was unverified uncorroborated they tried to lie to us manipulate us with lies from russia that hillary paid for before the election and they tried to take down a duly elected president after the election so you're right um but i promise you i'm on it listen i can walk in and chew gum at the same time but the big but here we got an important election in 19 days. I got to prioritize the content of the program, uh, but we did talk about it, as you know, in the last half hour. All right, let's get back to our phones. Uh, let's say hi to Terry is in North Carolina on the Sean Hannity Show. What's up, Terry? How are you? Hi, I'm doing good, Sean. Thank you for what you do. I uh, love your show. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. Uh, what's going on today? Hey. Well, you know, I, I, I hear you talking or I see the news. And you mean, and you see how the left is out there with all these riots. And if you want my own opinion, I call it bullying, even though they're all about stop the bullying. But how come we, in your opinion, why does nobody from the right get out there and beat on these senators' doors, get in their faces at restaurants? Is it that we're smarter than that? We're more educated? Does it hurt our cause? I don't understand how come we're not out there pushing back on them. Well, I, I mean, what do you mean by pushing back? Do you mean that if they go low, we're supposed to kick them? Do you mean that if they go low, that we're supposed to, you know, get a crowd and follow them into restaurants and department stores and gas stations and get in their face? And we don't want you uh, around here anymore, anytime. Know better you know, than as Maxine Water says. They're the ones we don't want scum. them. You know, listen, them, this is why the make elections like matter. Goals. 19 days is all the like message small. you can send. I mean, let us it like, will pack let us the look power small. of you the know, hardest punch you can throw like at fools, the media that's corrupt like and at we Democrats that are corrupt that's what I'm and the say. people that have tried to sabotage this president. 19 days. You have the power. You can change the world. You can vote. Yes, and shock the world. Listen, blinds.com, remember, That's you're always getting the big designer point. names, protest blinds, shades, shutters, and drapes. That's all we can drapes. do. You can get your home protest ready. Doesn't That's mean you have to take out a second mortgage. Right you get brand it's new, made-to-order, custom blinds, blinds.com. Instantly, your home gets an upgrade. 
And by the way, it just happens uh, in seconds. Blinds.com is the most customer-friendly company I know. They walk you through the entire process. They give you free designer consultation, professional designers. And literally, you can send them pictures. They'll guide you with their recommendations, answer any questions you have, phone, email, live chat, you name it. You can read reviews, see before and after pictures, get the latest trends and colors and patterns at their site. Look, they're in business now over 20 years. They sold now over 20 million blinds. They're the number you know, one online retailer of custom like window scum, coverings, you know, and they offer the best prices no store can ever beat them. them. They're the best. And if you order now no through October the 16th, on top of their already low cost. prices, you can save up to 30% and, and take an additional 5% off site-wide by, by mentioning that's my name, Hannity. It's blinds.com, promo code Hannity, low prices, they're up to 30% off and an additional 5% off site-wide. Blinds.com, promo code Hannity. And now, safe touch security. Triple team traffic. I four eastbound heavy from Montreal Parkway to five thirty five Central Florida Parkway to Kirkman. Just past the beach line, you've got a multi vehicle crash on the left shoulder. Downtown heavy Michigan to Ivanhoe for ten minutes and Fairbanks to Lee at Maitland four thirty four. 46A to up to the bridge. Westbound downtown delays. Princeton to the 408, 10 to 15 minutes. About the same from OBT to the Turnpike. And you're heavy from Sand Lake Pass, Central Florida Parkway, 192 to the 429. Police activity in Kissimmee, 192 eastbound is shut down at OBT. Westbound in Michigan, you want to avoid the area. Oh, Don't be scared by high desktop and laptop prices. Refresh Computers has the best prices in town on desktop and laptop computers. Visit Refresh Computers Longwood Superstore for everything you need at a fraction of the big store prices. With traffic alerts every six minutes in the morning, we're helping you get to work on time. I'm Jackie O'Brien, News 96.5 WDBO. Now, the three big things you need to know. Three. That police activity in Kissimmee, we've learned, involves a person who's apparently threatening to harm themselves. It's at a hotel, so people are being advised to stay off of US-192 near OBT if you can for now. Who? Spreading red tide may keep more people inside, including school kids in Brevard County. One. President Trump says a journalist who vanished right, after up, entering the Saudi to embassy in Turkey is probably right dead. Don't forget, the consultation is free. All right, Call guys. Two, three, four, hair, Orlando, hair, and com. But I got my Pepsi, so now we're going to go home. Well, actually, we're going to go to Popeye's first, and then we're going to go home. WDBO, wherever you go. Avoid that police activity. When I'm on the go in the news 96.5, I'm on the intersection of 182. Hey, Alexa, play news 96.5, WDBO. News 96.5, WDBO. This is News 96.5, WDBO. Idiots are closer than they appear. Alright, as we continue from Palm Beach, Rush Limbaugh for the full hour tonight on Hannity. You know, here is the deep state. This is the stuff that we put together, the puzzle that is now filling in as the house of cards begins to collapse. No, exactly. He's got to come in and answer questions. Who else may have been in that room? I will tell you this, Maria. When Jim Baker was in his deposition two weeks ago and was asked about this, he was as serious as you could be in describing what he understood took place in that meeting between Andrew McCabe and Rod Rosenstein, where Mr. Rosenstein talked about actually recording the president of the United States. So he needs to come in and answer our questions. And like I said, if it takes a subpoena, that's sure exactly what should that. be issued. So you you were in the deposition with, with James Baker, the first one, and you're going to yes. be with him this upcoming Thursday. What do you want to get from James Baker this week? Well, first of all, remember who this is. This is this is the FBI chief counsel. All kinds of things flow through him. So when he says that he believed Rod Rosenstein was serious about this, this, out, this alleged uh, uh, statement about recording the president, you got to take that with the weight that it comes with because it's the it's the FBI chief counsel. So we're going to ask him more about that. We our, our previous deposition was cut off early. We go we, we ran out of time, so we need him back in there where we're going to ask more about that specific meeting that took place and then his conversations with people who were in that meeting, how those went and who all he talked to. So all those things need to be asked. Quick break, right back from Palm Beach. It's the Sean Hannity Show. <laughs> I know that you guys 
guy to take a break. I mean, I Prices know that he's, buildings only. Do not you know, windows, doors, or accessories. Robot, Attention all business still. owners who rent or lease space, including storage space. Stop wasting your money paying someone else for your space. Like, you can now save a ton you know, of money and own your own building you know, with the incredible price sale price prices from General all. Steel. That's right. Now you can save as much as half the time and cost of conventional construction and stop renting space from others. Just call 877-47-STEEL to see how General Steel can help you save money. Our 50-year structural warranty buildings are custom designed for your needs. You can get a 40 by 60 foot building for less than $25,000 or a 50 by 100 clear span building for under $40,000. There's no wasted space and construction takes half the time. Call 877-47-STEEL. With strong construction spending and high demand, this special pricing will not last long. Call 877-47-STEEL and get your options and pricing package on dozens of building options. Call 877-47-STEEL and see how General Steel can save you money. Call 877-47-STEEL. That's 877-477-8335. 877-477-8335. News 96.5, the WDPO FM Orlando. Powered by New South Window Solutions. A Cox Media Group station. It's time. Time to join the millions of people that meet happy with Zoom video conferencing. Zoom gives you flawless video, crystal clear audio, and instant sharing across any mobile, tablet, or desktop device. But the best thing about Zoom? It just works. So ditch the distractions. Join the movement and meet happy with Zoom video conferencing. Visit zoom.us to set up your free account today. That's zoom.us. Zoom video conferencing. How can a fully stocked restroom improve your image? How can service fire extinguishers or first aid cabinet make your employees more prepared? How can comfortable work apparel make your business more productive? For over a million customers, the answer is simple. Cintas. Cintas delivers everything you need to open your doors with confidence. Because helping keep businesses well-equipped, clean, and looking their best, that's our business. Oh, I'm ready! Get Cintas and get ready for the workday. This is News 96.5. WDBO. Where Orlando turns first for breaking news. Weather and traffic. 24 hours a day. And it starts now. It is 5 o'clock at News 96.5. WDBO. And our top story this. Our Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, is expecting Saudi Arabia to wrap up its investigation into the disappearance of Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi fairly soon. Terry Moore has the story. Pompeo talked with reporters after briefing President Trump on his high-level trip to Saudi Arabia. We made clear to them that we take this matter with respect to Mr. Khashoggi very seriously. He said he advised Trump to give the Saudis some more time. They too understand the serious nature of the That's disappearance of Mr. That. Khashoggi. Uh, they also assured me that they will conduct a complete, thorough investigation. The Saudis have denied any involvement in the disappearance of the journalist who went missing after entering a Saudi consulate in Turkey on October 2nd. President Trump says he expects a full report soon, but he says it appears that the journalist was killed, perhaps over his critical reporting of the Saudi leadership. This is News 96.5. WDBO. Orlando turns first for breaking news. Weather I'm Terry Summer not giving up just yet. We are going to see another cold front on the way, and that'll bring temperatures down toward the end of the weekend. That's coming up. I'm Jackie O'Brien. Heavy delays building on I-4 in a closure in Kissimmee. Traffic in four minutes on News 96.5 WDBO. I'm Joe Rubel. We're checking interactive radar. There are a few showers outside of Zellwood headed toward Wildwood, but nothing here in the greater Orlando area. It is 89 degrees. Sean Hannity will be back in five minutes. Five Continuing minutes, our team coverage, police in Kissimmee say that a person is threatening self harm and they believe he is armed so they've shut down a busy roadway us 192 at eastbound orange blossom trail westbound michigan avenue all being blocked off while police work the incident happening at a local hotel where the person lives Orange County Public Schools wants to make sure that students are eating healthy meals while in class. Right now, 73% of all students in the district receive free or reduced price lunches. So the district is pushing for fresher foods with better ingredients. That's because some of those children may not have those healthy meals at home. With the family's budget very stretched, 
you're probably not going to see a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables at home. Before any new healthy options make it on the menu, they have to receive an 80% approval rating from students. Kevin Rafe, yeah, who's 96.5 WDDO, released today the state's quarterly the report on theme park the related anyway. injuries. For the most part, it was good news. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services report shows several incidents at multiple parks, but they were all minor in nature. At Disney World, the most serious being a 37 year old man who passed out getting off Splash Mountain. According to the report, the man had a pre existing condition. A 69 year old woman became disoriented on Space Mountain and needed help getting off the ride. At Universal, a 39 year old woman became sick after riding Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, and a 51 year old man had a minor hip injury at Volcano Bay. No incidents were reported at SeaWorld Orlando or Legoland. Tony Marino, News 96.5. WDBO. It's that time of year. You probably need a job because you need a little extra cash in your pocket. UPS in Orlando is going to be hiring hundreds of seasonal workers tomorrow. It's part of UPS's nationwide hiring blitz tomorrow called Brown Friday. They plan to hire 40,000 new employees all tomorrow by making job offers on the spot. The Orlando UPS is looking to fill more than 1,200 positions, including driver helpers, package handlers, and seasonal drivers. Sometimes these positions can lead to full-time jobs. The hiring in Orlando tomorrow takes place at the UPS on Atlantic Avenue that's close to the Boggy Creek Road exit off the beach line. Gene Wexler, News 96.5 WDBO. I'm Jimmy Dupree, your Washington watchdog, and this is where Orlando turns first for breaking news, weather, and traffic. News 96.5 WDBO. President Donald Trump threatening to send more soldiers to the southern border. In a series of tweets this morning, the president pointed to a caravan of migrants trying to make their way to the U.S. from Central America, said the number in the thousands. Trump said that many of them are criminals and that the leaders are doing little to stop them. He's asking Mexico for help. Well, stocks continue their slide on Wall Street, still worried about rising interest rates and the global economy of the traders. And at the closing bell, the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell another 327 points. Long lines at some convenience stores. Now that Friday's Mega Millions jackpot is $970 million. It would be the second biggest payout in U.S. lottery history. It won't be just a basketball game when the Los Angeles Lakers take on the Portland Trailblazers tonight because of one very big name who will appear in a Lakers uniform. After so much talk... I'm excited for King James. I'm excited for LeBron. And so much hype here in L.A., it's finally happening. Lakers Nation, baby! Woo! LeBron James will play as a Laker. In his 16-year career, it's the first time he'll be wearing the uniform of a Western Conference club in a regular season game. A huge crowd of reporters said to cover the game in Portland. Tickets are hard to get, no doubt James will be on the court a lot tonight. Alex Stone, EBC News. It's 505 at News 96.5 WDBO. I'm Harvey Massey. Where we live, termites are a constant threat to your home. They invade from colonies below the ground and may go undetected until you discover the damage. With Massey's termite protection, using the Simplicon system, your home is protected and backed by one of the best guarantees in the industry. Our guarantee includes coverage for retreatment and repair of any new damage. That's Massey Services with the Simplicon system. Expect more and get it. When will we get a break from the heat? It's okay. American Air and Heat is ready for your phone call. American Air and Heat proudly sells and installs Lennox air conditioning systems. They are the only privately owned AC manufacturer in the United States. American Air and Heat guarantees their service. American Air and Heat is available for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Oh, please let it be cool eventually. 800-421-COOL. Or go to AmericanAirAndHeat.com. I'm Clark Allen, the guy helping you keep more of the money you make. And this is where Orlando turns first for breaking news, weather, and traffic. News 96.5 WDBO. Weather. Brought to you by Tuffy Tire and Auto Service. Heat's still building this afternoon. I'm Tom Terry, still in the low 90s today. A few showers showing up on our northern front. Temperatures will be back in the mid-70s tonight. A little bit better chance for rain tomorrow and a stronger front Sunday. We'll finally drop those temperatures. From Channel 9, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tom Terry. Now, Thanks, touch 
Security. Triple team traffic. I-4 eastbound delays past Disney and then from Central Florida Parkway all the way to Kirkman. Michigan to the 408 just a few minutes and Fairbanks to Lee at Mate Linsel at 434. 46A up to the bridge. Crash on the left right shoulder through there. Westbound delays past the rest. Princeton to the 408 downtown. Then OBT to the Turnpike. Sand Lake past Central Florida Parkway and 192 past the 429. Closure in Kissimmee due to police activity. 192 eastbound shut down at OBT. Westbound in Michigan, you'll be detoured around local roads. Also have a crash on Michigan at Orange Avenue. With traffic alerts every six minutes in the morning, we're helping you get to work on time. I'm Jackie O'Brien, News 96.5 WDBO. Now, Sean Hannity on News 96.5 WDBO. Minus 19 days. Until you decide the midterm elections to keep America great. For our final news roundup and information overload. All right, news roundup and information overload. Sean Hannity Show. 800 941 Sean is a toll free telephone number. We're in Palm Beach. Uh, Bush Limbaugh for the full hour tonight on Hannity on the Fox News Channel. We'll be talking all things about the election, about Deep State, about uh, his predictions, and so much more. Um, it's amazing that, oh, gee, we're only 19 days out of the election and we get a series of leaks about how Robert Mueller now is prepared to deliver key findings in his Trump probe. Maybe he could have told us after the election, as there are literally Justice Department rules that prohibit these investigations from ever being politicized, which, of course, James Comey, he really did a good job of doing that. Um, we have the House chairman, Bob Goodlatte, is now threatening to subpoena Rod Rosenstein. Rod Rosenstein couldn't go before Congress and talk under oath, but he certainly defended the Mueller probe in an interview, extensive interview with the Wall Street Journal. So if he has time for that, why do he need to have time for anything else? We got a senior Treasury official caught with a flash drive arrested this week over the leak of suspicious activity reports about Paul Manafort, the Russian embassy, the, you know, alleged Moscow spy Maria Bettina, if you remember her. Now, Glenn Simpson wouldn't testify along with Rod Rosenstein, wouldn't testify at all. Nellie Orr doesn't want to testify. And Rod Rosenstein doesn't want to testify because they all want to run out the clock here. That's their main goal. That's what they want to do. Um, and we have the NSA and director disclosing that FISA abuse days after Carter Page FISA was issued. Well, we've already known that. On top of that, you've got four people now on the record as saying that Rod Rosenstein, that he was talking about wearing a wire against the president of the United States of America. So if you start at the beginning, you've got an exoneration of a guilty felony committing Hillary Clinton. And of course, the same people the very next day that exonerated her, but the exoneration was mit written in May. They never interviewed her till July. Three days later, they let her off. Then they begin this Russia witch hunt. And then in the course of the Russia witch, witch hunt, we now know yeah. after nine months of investigation, well, even Lisa Pate said they had nothing. And Peter Strzok had said there's no there there. But they still had their insurance policy in place. They had a media leak strategy in place. Oh, what was Lord. the media leak strategy? That well, that was so to leak the contents stupid. of Hillary's bought and paid for dirty Russian dossier. Just like the same information was used to obtain the FISA warrants against Carter Page. You can't make any of this up. Four people now say Ron Rosenstein, yeah, he wanted to wear a wire on the president. Um, James Baker is uh, back on the Hill today. Remember, he was one of the four people that was very clear about Rod Rosenstein. And we're still awaiting the declassification of, let's see, 302s, gang of aid information, FISA warrants. Uh, we're also awaiting, you know, whether or not we're going to get unredacted FISA applications, pages 10 through 12, 17 to 34. Remember, the bulk of information for the FISA warrants was the phony, never verified, never corroborated Russian dossier oh, that Hillary paid for. There's so much, it stinks to high heaven. Now John Solomon oh, out with an article yesterday in his article, where he's talking about all these FBI and top DOJ officials, yeah. they're on all these special interest junkets. And guess who's probably the most frequent user of them? Robert Mueller's pit bull, Andrew Weissman. Yeah, that Andrew Weissman, the one after Paul Manafort. That Andrew Weissman, that, of course, was responsible for tens of thousands of Americans losing their jobs as it relates to Anderson Accounting. When you go back years in the Enron investigation, the same guy that was overturned 9-0 in the U.S. Supreme Court, the same guy that sent four Merrill executives to jail for a year, 
and that got turned over by the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. It sounds complicated. It really isn't. It is the single biggest abuse of power corruption scandal in the history of the country. And I, I haven't even mentioned the abuse of the powerful they tools of intelligence harder. that we give these people supposedly to protect us. All right, joining us now, uh, civil liberties attorney, criminal defense attorney David Schoen and Carter Page, who has been at the center of all of this for the last year. And, you know, Carter, I know that you're moving forward with investigations, lawsuits, and I don't blame you one bit. I mean, from everything you've told me is that our FBI, our CIA, our intelligence community knew you well because as your work took you to foreign lands, when you would come back from places like Russia, uh, you would willingly sit, be debriefed, and, and and tell them everything you know to help your country out. So uh, I guess if you were really the bad guy that needed to be surveilled and they needed Hillary Clinton's unverified phony Russian dossier to do it as the presentation to commit a fraud on the FISA courts, I would think you'd be indicted right now if you were as bad as they say. Sean, it's just, it, it just gets getting crazier and crazier every day. I, uh, I think just uh, just t this week, we have the Saudis that are um, owning up to various things that may have happened there and, you know, starting investigations yeah, about things that may have happened a couple of days uh, or with, within the last few weeks. I mean, this is something that is, you know, people have been covering up here in the United States for over two years. So I think as a, you uh, you know, a symbol of democracy, a symbol of good government, hopefully... Uh, Hopefully the uh, the cards are starting to fall here, and people will start owning up to all the uh, all the wrongdoing that was done. And I I think we're Idiot. seeing hints of that as you've been uh, uh, all over in terms of your reporting. So let me bring David in. David is an oh, attorney and a, and a really good attorney. You know, Congress has a constitutional role. It's called oversight. Their job, they're their check. We have a system of separation of powers and checks and balances. Part of their oversight is Good. when they are investigating the Should investigators, have they have been obstructed every step of the way. Request, document requests. We have found instance after instance where they cite national security as a reason for not turning something over, only to be turn out to be having nothing to do with national security, only an embarrassment to them. Now we see in, in just the last two weeks, oh, Rod yeah, Rosenstein, who gives an extensive uh, interview to the Wall Street Journal, he doesn't have time to testify under oath. Len Simpson is pleading the fifth. Now, Lior doesn't want to appear and testify under oath. James Baker's testifying today, and James Baker and Lisa Page and Andrew McCabe and one other person all saying Rod Rosenstein wanted to wear a wire to go after the president of the United States. Uh, if you were representing our friend Carter Page here, I mean, I would think you'd have a multitude of lawsuits and that well, Carter Page ought to be a pretty rich Florida, man by the end of all this. Yeah, Carter Page has uh, a strong basis for seeking not only information, but also damages and relief. And he is now, by the way, you know, of course, conducting some litigation going after that. Listen, Carter Page is a very important, discreet example of how very wrong things have gone both with the FISA court and otherwise in government. But you hit the probably the most important point going on here, Congress's role in o providing oversight. Um, you know, God willing, Congressman Nunez is going to return after this election. His like work, some good last work, have been vital. Congress can no longer bluff, though, anymore. They've got to compel the testimony of these folks. I think there's a real argument for a, a Fifth Amendment waiver from the public statements that these folks make. The American public demands transparency, and they deserve nothing less than transparency. And by the way, these aren't simple mistakes that have gone on. You know, we talk about this 99-page report on FISA court uh, abuses that uh, NSA Director Rogers was talking about. Um, these aren't there. just mistakes. These are conscious Come efforts on. and an agenda by law enforcement officers to evade the law. The, there is, by the way, one other uh, avenue that no one really has explored yet, and that's a FISA court of review. There is a court that sits above the FISA so court that will also, funny. under their rule four, consider procedural motions. There are three judges and chief justice appointed right now that judges Cabrera, Santel, and Talman from different circuits. Maybe, the, maybe that court direction. should be the subject uh, of a, uh, the play of the forum for a motion Here we go. to review what's going on in the FISA court also. Because remember, you have in the FISA court efforts by the New York Times. Where are these FISA court judges? A fraud was committed on every one of them. They were presented unverified, uncorroborated information to spy on the guy you're also talking to on this on this line, Carter Page. 
Why haven't we heard from I them Rush yet? Hour, you know what I mean? You're right. I it should be outraged. Judge Collier is a bloody judge in the fifth court, and these judges on the court of review. It, it violates their own I'm rules, sure Rule 13, and it violates the Constitution. Back. And as you've pointed out many times, exactly. the most sensitive area of our government, probably, because it's an ex parte application for the most intrusive kind of eavesdropping that there is in the world. Yeah. You know, there's an article by John Solomon. I want to just read a little bit of it to both of you. And, Carter, we'll start with you to get your reaction, considering you have, as of now, you appear to be the victim in all of this. Unless something changes, Carter Page, that I don't know about you, uh, as of now, if you were this well, horrible person that needed to be surveilled and not just basically, a, I don't know, a chink in the armor to get at Trump and then you become the unwitting victim in a witch hunt against him, but, you know, because you were lied about, they use phony information to obtain the warrant against you, but of all the agencies in the federal government, Solomon points out, that should be immune to special interest schmoozing, the DOJ, its premier law enforcement agencies like the FBI, the DEA, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives top the list. Their independence from influence and their integrity in meeting out the law fairly are essential to their success and the trust the American public puts in them. But this week, the DOJ's internal watchdog put a rare spotlight on the gratuities inside the department. And then he goes on to explain how people in the FBI and Come DOJ on, are dummies. accepting free sporting event tickets from a television reporter. Uh, they don't even why? give the names of recipients. So Hundreds of uh, pages of government ethics filings reveal that in the past three years the doj under democrat republican presidents has allowed hundreds of their employees to accept free travel lodging food from special interests across the globe and i'm looking at this and i'm saying you know really you've got to be kidding me because if anybody else did this that would be called influence peddling and on top of the list we got a guy by the name of andrew weissman who accepted apparently more than a dozen free trips your reaction carter sean you know this goes back to sort of the crux of the matter in terms of my case and all the abuses that happened around me it's not about me and it's not about any uh any you know specifics in terms of myself it's really about our country and i think what you see in terms of some of these uh, actions that they were doing um, against the rules and potentially against the law, that really reflects, you know, people just Why looking out for themselves. And, you know, it's like President Trump always said as a candidate, uh, it's not about me, it's about us. And, you know, no. when they when they come after me, they're, they're just doing it to uh, to get get him at the end of the day. So this right, is well, it's really well, a uh, it's a huge problem. We'll pick it up with uh, Carter Page. David Schoen will get his reaction to that on the other side. 800-941-SEAN. You want to be a part of the program. By the way, my buddy Steve Ducey is going to weigh in at the bottom of this half hour. I want to remind you, look, my pillow has changed my life. I fall asleep faster. I stay asleep longer. It just works. It's neither drug nor alcohol induced. Now my pillow has even gotten better because they created the My Pillow Mattress Topper. All right, I'm going to cut it off right there because I don't want to hear any of that advertisement crap. Okay, so I'm sure that earlier you've heard me yell and scream, you know, because, you know, I record these videos when I'm driving in my car and I drive in Florida and in Florida, Florida drivers are the dumbest drivers in the United States. There are more accidents in Florida than anywhere else. And, you know, I'm trying to get from point A to point B in a short period of time. And especially because I'm hungry and I'm in the mood for Popeye's chicken, and these idiots are doing only God knows what they're doing. So it's like, oh my gosh, what is wrong with you people? You know, this is one of those areas in life where I just don't trust people because people, these people are not making the smart choices when it comes to being on the road. You know, I don't know what it is. Everyone thinks that they're a cowboy or a cowgirl on a horse and they're riding through the desert. And it's just, <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh Lord. There's a reason why there are traffic laws, ladies and gentlemen. There is. But fortunately, I was able to make it to Popeye's. And um, I'm going to have to figure out a different route on the way home. Because I'm not sure if this um, police thing is still going on. I don't see any helicopters right now. Um, but yeah. And it's already at 43 minutes, almost 44 minutes that I've recorded video. Um, so I'm not sure how much more 
this uh, camera can take. I'm not, I'm not sure how much more uh, memory this camera, this camera can, you know, store. So I'm just going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and God bless. And that's Ron White. I love